Good morning. This is an example of a data set, and it's not a very small one, but the goal here is to show you how to put this into SPSS and create the variables you need to run analysis. That's all I'm going to do today. That's actually what this video is limited to. So I have this data set here that includes whether or not one receives lunch for free, low cost or free lunch, and I coded that to be zero is no and one is yes, and the person's age at the time of the survey, and their sex or zero is female and male is equal to one, and then their body mass index, or BMI. So I have to put this into an SPSS a file, right, an SPSS file, data file, so I'm going to go to SPSS, which I already have open, here's a blank data file. Now I could enter these manually by just typing them in, but I don't like to do things hard, I like to do them easier. This is already set up as a table. So since it's already set up as a table, I'm just going to copy the values that I want, and then I'm going to paste them directly into SPSS. I'll just choose one of those little uh, cells and hit paste, and that'll go ahead and paste the values and form these. So all the values are in here now. They're not ideally the way I want them, there are no variable names associated with them, but I can fix that by going down to variable view. When I get to variable view, I have the name cells, and I'm going to enter the names of the variables. This one I'll call lunch as before. The other one was, what do call that? It was age, and we had sex and BMI. So we have, oops, we have age sex, BMI for body mass index. These are all numeric variables, which is great. Uh, they have a width of eight. I really don't need any decimal spaces. So I'm just going to get rid of those, out of this, these values. Set those at zero. And then I'll give these labels, lunch is free or low free. Or, you can't see, so pardon me, I put on my glasses or low cost lunch, age is, age is just age, time of survey. This is important if you share the data set with somebody else, biological sex, and people like to use the word gender incorrectly all the time, that's fine. Body mass index values. Some of these do have values, like free or low cost lunch. Zero equals no. So you add that. So I'm getting these, these value labels so it makes it easier for anyone to interpret them when the output is produced. And one is yes. Okay, there's some of the values. You don't need a value for age or BMI since those are continuous variables. And sex we had Zero is female. Add and one is male. Add that. So we finish that part. The only last piece I have is I'm going to talk about what kind of measurement scale it's in. So we know that lunch is a nominal variable, so there's no actual logic behind the choice of values, or natural logic, if that makes sense. With the choice of values we place for lunch, so it could have been 0, 1, 1, 2, whatever we wanted. So that's a nominal variable. Age is known as a continuous variable. Some people will call those interval ratio variables, whatever you want to call it. That's fine. In SPSS, that's given the label scale. Sex is another nominal variable, so let's choose that as nominal, and BMI is another scale variable. So we have those four variables, and that's it. So let's go back to our data view now, and when we look at our data, we have everything as it should be. So we have lunch up here, and you see it has three little circles indicating some kind of a vanish diagram. That's for a nominal variable. The little ruler is an indicator of a scale variable. And then there you go. So now I could actually run analyses with this as an example. I might want to just do something like, I don't know, run some descriptives like frequencies. Frequencies make sense when you have these um, nominal variables. I can run those. 
So there's lots of different things you can do. So here's just a frequency distribution, right? Showing how many of each each status we have, right? So so here we have, and you'll notice we don't have zero and one, but we have yes and no, and we have female and male, just like we had prepared them in the value label section. One other important note is that every time you use SPSS, you get syntax associated with it. Syntax is important because if you copy and paste it into a syntax file, you can save it for later. And this syntax file will run with whatever file is open at the time. So we have we created our little data set, and that's open. So I can actually run the frequency distribution from here, and it'll run again. I think that's very important because when you work with large data sets, it's difficult to navigate through this drop-down tab to find your variable. Here we only had four variables, so that was easy. But at, at times you'll have you know hundreds or thousands of variables. That's it. Enjoy. And have a nice day. I'm off to class. Thank you for teaching.